I saw. So two things we do in this video. Number one, we're going to save the values of this um, highs and lows. And the second thing is, uh, we're going to make sure this highs and lows follow the proper order flow. That is, uh, this situation here where you have three consecutive highs, here you have two consecutive highs, here you have two consecutive lows, such uh, situations will be dealt with. So you just have one eye, one low, one eye, one low, one eye, one low. So let's get into it. Now, uh, I prepared this line of code. Yes, so this stores uh, the rate to I is saved here as the i value and here what do we do we have an array resize we increase the size of the array the next thing is uh we shift all elements this loop iterates backward through the array starting from the second to the last element and moving towards the beginning each element is shifted to the right by one position the shift makes the low uh, the zero value of the lose array, the last position to be stored. So it makes it empty. And after the shifts, after the shift here, we have I zero as an empty position. Then we store the new value here in the I zero. So uh, we also have to uh, store the I time in the I time array. So I just substitute the value. Yeah, you store the I time into the I time array. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so let me compile. Do we have any errors? No. So we rep uh, we do the same thing for the lows. Uh, This uh, find and replace command I'm using, you can get it by just clicking on the control F on your keyboard. Okay, so here we store the low, lose value. Let's store the low time to Okay, that's it. That's all the code now we've uh, stored that. So now back to um, arranging our other flow. So uh, to be orderly, we need a swing blow to follow a swing eye and a swing eye to follow a swing blow. To achieve this, we need uh, to create a rolling array, which we have done. So we are going to track the uh, most recent swing direction using this meter i'm going to call it uh last swing meter we initialize it at zero okay so what we simply do is we introduce it here
and A as one. Why do we need this last swing meter? Let me explain why to you. So, uh, right here, when we have this I, what's the last swing? The last swing is one. When we have this I, what's the last swing? The last swing is minus one. When we have this I, what's the last swing? The last swing is minus one. When we have this low swing, what's the last swing? The last swing is minus one. So we can, at the point of the detection of the new swing, we're able to check the value of the last swing. So now uh, we're going to prepare for three scenarios. We want to undo the situation of consecutive swings. So here now, uh, you have a high swing. Here you have a high swing and you have a new high swing. This new high swing is higher than the previous swing. So this previous swing ought to be deleted. If this is lower, this new lower swing should be ignored. So that is what I'm going to do here. So we're going to introduce a new line of code here. Let's start with the eyes. If last swing meter is less than zero, And our I value is less than Return zero means do nothing. Okay. So we have taken care of this uh, situation here. So what if uh, we have this other situation here? Let me copy and paste again. What if we have this situation? If we have this situation whereby uh, the previous swing was a high swing and the new value is higher, we said we want to delete the previous value. So uh, we're going to call on the delete. Remember, we have a delete object function here. So I'm going to call on the delete object function here. Delete up. Delete. Objects so we have the ice time ah. Uh, the arrow we uh, created is 234, so we're going to put 234. And the text is high, right? That's the text, yes, high. So we're going to delete this object. And then we also need to remove uh, the information from the array. Array remove. Okay, so this deletes uh, the previous swing. Now we uh, want to save the new swing value. So I'm just going to copy this and put it here. 
Okay. No errors. So we've taken care of two scenarios. The first uh, scenario we took care of is when the last swing meter is less than zero. The second scenario is also when the last swing meter is less than zero. So the third scenario is when the last swing meter is greater than or equal to zero. So we're just going to copy this here. And if our last swing meter is greater than or equal to zero, what do we do? We store this value. So I'm just going to cut. And paste. Can we compile? That's all. We repeat the same thing for the low value and we're done. So uh, what do we do? Let's just substitute the value instead of typing all over again. So we start with this. If last swing direction is greater than zero and the low value, so this is low value, is greater than the lows, okay, return zero. Okay, this is where we are. So this is scenario one. Scenario two, if uh, last swing meter is this and this is less than, let's go copy our delete function so we don't type again. Yeah, this is the delete function here. Let's uh, get the right arrays. Okay, so we remove uh, the previous low swings. Oh, we have to change this label too. Okay, so now after removing the previous low, we have to store, okay. And we take care of the last scenario. Okay, here, here it is. In this case, if the last direction is less than or equal to zero, No errors in our compilation. So let's uh, run our strategy tester again and see if we're going to get what we want. Low, high, okay, this works, you can see. You see, you see, you see, you see, it's the leads. Okay, now you see it works, it works fine. You see, just deleted previous I. Okay. Uh, the code for the low, does that work? Seems to work fine too. Okay. Oh, we have two consecutive lows here. Yeah. 
why do we have two consecutive lows? I know why. We didn't change the code. Here, yeah, when we wanted to delete, uh, we just copied and this is 233. Okay, let's try it again now. Let's try it again. Okay, I, low, I, low, high. Okay, I works fine. I, delete, okay, delete, okay. So let's check out the low. The, the I works fine. Oh, the low works fine too. You sh this low just got deleted. So now you can see uh, you have a clean swing points and uh, you have all of those swing values stored, called from the arrays and used. So uh, from the code, you can see we stored um, 10 values. So you can access from lows zero to lows nine. Oh, yeah. Also from um, low time zero to low times nine in further building more complex trading strategies than this. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you like it, just comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, in the next video, we're going to introduce you to fair value gaps, identifying and storing the information from fair value gaps and using them for trading decisions. Thank you for watching. See you next video.